Hey guys, welcome to question FM145 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. So this question reads, consider the recurrence relation below, and then it shows us this recurrence relation here, a0 is equal to 3, a n plus 1 equals 2, a n minus 1. So the first four terms of this recurrence relation are, now we can almost immediately rule out options A and B because they both start with numbers that aren't three and we're told pretty explicitly that the first term in this sequence is three. From here, in order to figure out the correct answer, we're gonna to need to actually go through the recurrence relation and figure out what these values are. So of course we know that A zero is three, which is gonna be the first term in our sequence. To find A one, according to this equation, we must multiply our previous value of A by two and then minus one. So we're gonna say two times three minus one. Now you, you could, would probably plug this into a calculator. You could do it in your head. So two times three is six, minus one is going to be five, but it is always handiest to do it in a calculator. Calculator is not gonna make mistakes, whereas you might make a mistake, especially in, a, in an exam condition where your brain's going a little haywire anyway. You might put in two times three minus one and get seven uh, just absentmindedly while your brain's thinking about other things. Calculators are always going to get it right as long as you put it in right. Next value, 2 times 5 minus 1. Plugging that into a calculator and doing it in your head, you're going to get 9. And then 2 times 9 minus 1. Once again, calculator ahead should give you 17. So the first four terms in our sequence should be 3, 5, 9, 17, which lands us at option C. If you guys have any questions on how that's done, Drop them in the comments below, otherwise we'll see you in the next video.